So, first out today is uh, Martin Skedal, who's uh, a full-time activist living in Norway, and he's uh, the organizer of Climate Save Norway, and also of uh, Bergen Animal Save. And he'll uh, lead us through the interesting topic of why environmentalism is important for the animal rights movement. So, much welcome, Martin. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you everyone for coming to my morning session. Uh, I was really like nervous about how many people would show up since you know it's the first one. Um, so I'm really grateful that you made your way here. <laughs> actually, um, last time I held the presentation for SAVE, it, it was in Berlin. And then I was so nervous that I had to take a pillow with me on stage. Aww. So yeah, I know. <laughs> It was pretty funny. <laughs> so now I feel okay, but I'm a bit nervous that I'm not that nervous, if you know what I mean. But yeah. <laughs> That's like, then you're super nervous. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, um, yeah, so this is the topic. Um, and it's going to be super simple, I hope. Um, like, it's a lot of stuff that you already know. And as Casper also said yesterday, uh, then it's like our like, duty to find out how it can be interesting for you so that you actually will like pay attention. So we're gonna, gonna, gonna do it like kind of simple, um, but also please just raise your hand if you have any like critical uh, feedback or questions or anything, um, because if there comes the questions to your mind, uh, that could maybe be like the most valuable thing for you today. Yeah. Because if not, I, I would just say what I already know, and you would be like, hmm, yes? I would take the question in the middle of the presentation. Yes, just hit me when, it, uh, when you want. <laughs> yeah, and you do that by raising your hand. <laughs> you could also like send a paper letter or something. <laughs> yeah. And we will also have a Q&A session in, in the end, if that's needed, yeah. So first, um, to let you know like who I, I am, so this is me. I'm a full-time activist, I'm also the founder and CEO of World Saving Hustle, which is a network organization fighting for animals, um, nature and humans. Um, but this is basically what I do all the time, just like sit and work. People think that I like am out and doing activism all the time, since like full-time activist. Um, but basically sitting and working all, all the time, but that's how I enjoy my life. <laughs> um, and this is also me, or not now, as you can see, I got my hair back, um, but I was also a monk, and that color um, matches Casper today, and it also matches the presentation today. So yeah, so that's why I chose that color. Um, and, and the yeah, organizer for AVDAC, and uh, for animal and climate save, and like total in like 15 different organizations in Norway. Uh, yes, and I'm also best selling author of 2.3 books, Dr. Degree in Procrastination in Space, um, and Grand Grandfather for two, I promise. <laughs> yes. Okay, so first I, I wanna check the temperature here. Uh, so how many of you cooperate with environmentalists uh, or the environmental movement right now? Nice, okay, but did, can you keep them up? I gotta remember, like, if you have like events and stuff and you, you like cooperate uh, directly with them. Okay, so one, two, three, four, everybody from Norway, good. <laughs> <laughs> and Denmark, nice. Um, uh, what comes after, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, I just gotta write that down. So then you can imagine that, oh, seven, because I can't remember. Um, then my goal is to get more than seven to raise their hand in the end, if you understand. Okay? Ooh, pressure. Okay. So, uh, this is one of the ways that clim climate change um, is like horrible for the ones that we are fighting for directly, the animals. Um, but, but this is not what my main focus will be on today, but this is just to mention that this is also one of the factors and things that we can think about. So. Climate change is not only like uh, hurting us directly, it's hurting those we are fighting for, the animals. Um, so yeah, like these are, uh, like uh, this, this, this is a big, big uh, chicken farm. Uh, and you can just imagine uh, what happened to the chickens when the water 
goes up like this, and it's also inside a pig farm. Yeah. But what is our goal as AR activists? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Yeah, uh, AR is by, by the way like animal rights, right? So, as animal rights activist, um, does anyone want to take a, like, what's our main goal? Liberation? Yes? Life. Yes? Mm. Do you agree on that one? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. That's a pretty big goal, right? So, we need everyone. And yeah, so we need our bros and sisters and everyone, whoever, like what people identify as or whatever they feel like, at the Envo Department Squad, like the environmental movement, but it's a much cooler word. Uh, and here is how. So, these are like the top qualities. Again, this is things that you know, but I just want to like punch it in there so we can all like really, really understand it, okay? So, first, it's like the mass. It's like insane amounts of people now that really, really take environmental, like, uh, the crisis really serious. And that's also the point number two, that they really think about it as a crisis now. And that's like thanks to uh, Greta Thunberg, the one starring the school strikes and stuff. She's like saying it loud and clearly that it's a global crisis we're going through. It, it's not just like, oh, we have this world issue that we got to work on. It's a serious big crisis. Um, and when you have a crisis, then people are willing to, to do more, right? Uh, and what I will come back to, but is that when they're willing to do more, one of the things we can help them with is to understand that one of the best things one can do to combat climate change is a vegan diet. Yes. Yeah, go vegan! <laughs> yes. Um, and also that ev everything basically depends on if we can like tackle uh, climate change or not. So the fight we're fighting, like there, there's, there's no fight for us if basically climate change just goes crazy and we can't stop it. And yeah, then, then we suffer more, uh, it, the animals suffer more, it's harder for us to actually help the animals and it's, it's just like terrible for everyone. Um, but, but, but of course, a lot of our work already helps uh, solving climate change a lot because like, getting the vegan message out there is really good. But I think um, many of us do it like, mainly because of the animals, which is like, really good, but that also has like, a huge impact on the environment. So thank you for that. Yeah. Um, so, big question. How many animal rights activists do we need to cooperate with the environmentalist movement? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just one, but <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gonna take the one more. Yeah, but, but nice. <laughs> yes, uh, but I agree. Everyone should. <laughs> but we only need one, right? So, it, either you or yourself. And 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 now I'm talking about this super simple stuff that we're going through today. So, all you need to do is make contact. Okay. It's, it, it's not like some super science, but we have to connect with them. Um, many, many people are talking about, yeah, but like how and blah, 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 and maybe that's not good, or maybe we should do like another, another thing, but just make contact and make a new friend. And I'm gonna give you a little guide. So, you have three ways of making contact, okay? So, uh, one is to contact a environmentalist directly. The cool thing about that is that then you can uh, really get the perspective and like the, the honest perspective of an environmentalist and like why they are active and how they feel the whole environmentalist movement um, is working to solve this issue. Instead of contacting an environmental group, which you also can do, uh, but then you know they have their own values and stuff, so they gotta talk from their perspective. Um, and the thing here. <laughs> So, um, I became vegan because I really care about human rights, uh, which led me into climate change, so like the environment, which led me into animal agriculture, which led me into animal rights, and then I like got the whole picture. Mm. 
right? Um, so I, I didn't first care about the an animals. That that actually was like last uh, on my like timeline of going vegan. Um, but the thing when I then got really vegan or like really active <laughs> as a vegan activist, and I signed up for a lot of the different environmental organizations. I thought like all of the environmentalists were vegan. Like I thought I was just like the main like the basic baseline. And I remember one national meeting uh, at one of these like conferences and we got pizza and I was like so happy. I, I never eaten vegan pizza before at that time. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, they have vegan pizza here, that's so cool. And then like open up and I'm like 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 oh my god, like that's like uh, meat. Uh, and then like the next one and uh, I couldn't find like uh, even like vegetarian ones um, so I asked like the leader like hey uh, like is there food for like is there vegan food here and he's like vegan <laughs> and I said uh, yeah <laughs> and he's like oh you're vegan and I said uh, yeah and and then he said like oh well, like we don't have food for you then I guess so uh, he made like kidney beans uh, with corn and like <laughs> and blended it and, like this is vegan right <laughs> and I said like yes it's vegan it's not like pizza but it's vegan. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah so that that was my start with like the environmental <laughs> move, movement um, but then I got the opportunity to, to like talk with them and and talk about like how damaging beef is for example for the environment and then he promised to never have that again so. Yeah, so that's one of the ways that we can like help them understand, um, because man, many of them also just see like the bigger picture and that like it's a big system change and like the um, pointing at like the politicians and stuff uh, and and not really knowing how much of an impact we as individuals also have. But um, so when I then contacted a lot of the environmental groups. Like this was, uh, like like the same happened in basically all of them. Nobody was taking like veganism seriously, and that's why I appreciate so much when An Anita, like the founder of the Save movement, said that we're going to have like an environmental group from Save. So it's like with our values. It's like with the vegan message basically. So that is what Climate Save is. Mm -hmm. So it's being kind of the first, I I think at least. Uh, environmental organization that really has a focus. Ding, ding, ding. But yeah, now I gotta do it every time. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's the first, uh, or at least one of the organizations that really has like veganism and environmentalism hand in hand. So if you want to cooperate with environmentalists, that could be one of the smartest things to do because then you can say that you are an environmental organization and that you want to cooperate with them and that could might be like an easier bridge than to say like we're an animal rights group and would like to cooperate with you but you don't have to do like a lot of stuff to have a climate save group but it could be worth it if you understand to use that name instead of like animal save <clears throat> but you can also just use like animal save of course <laughs> we do that too <laughs> but so that's like really really smart um but but also just to connect with other um, environmentalist groups they have like a lot of people now basically um and many of them are also like vegetarian or like considering going vegan but they might need that little push and we can be that little push for helping him Maybe that's better to say. Meet Tim. Oh, that's Tim. Not that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, meet Tim. <laughs> we can name him Tim. He's named after Tim. So yeah. Um, so Tim is basically, uh, yeah, really good like activist. Like, does any of you know Tim, perhaps? Or no? Okay, now you do. He got like. Uh, yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and now he's like the organizer for Climate Save Movement, working um, together with me like internationally to set up groups like all over the world, basically. Um, and the main thing, like he is now working with a lot of different environmental organizations and sharing the vegan message into that. 
and also with Kaya, meet Kaya. <laughs> uh, Kaya is from Norway, and yeah, we talked about Extinction Rebellion just like shortly, like the other day. They were here or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, so she is she is also like heavily involved uh, with the uh, XR and also World Saving Hustle. That's the organization that I run. Uh, and then Klimabola and Klimabola, it's like the biggest demonstration ever in Norway that's going to happen the 30th, is that how you say it? 30th of August, yeah. And it's aimed at having like 100,000 people in the streets of Oslo, which is insane. And then 100,000 people for the rest of the country. So like 200,000, yeah, that's, it, it's gonna be insane. Um, and she is working a lot with that. And one way to show you like the bridge between environmentalism and veganism here is that uh, none of the people working with Klimawale uh, is uh, vegan, but we stood for like um, the food and stuff at the office, which we just opened. And then of course we just have all the food vegan, and then we like can talk with them about why. And yeah, and also with like X XR. Now she is like the action coordinator or something in Norway for X XR, uh, which is Extinction Rebellion. Yeah, and then of course like. Uh, with World Save Saving Hustle, we also have like the vegan message, um, like from the ground up, but we don't talk like that loud about it because it's a network of like human rights activists and environmentalists and animal rights activists. So, yeah, we but but people know where we stand, like our val values. So that's like really really important. So, a bridge between environmentalists and activists has helped Kaya and Tim reach more people with the vegan in the beautiful green color uh, message. So that, that's basically the simple like basic line here, that when you cooperate with environmentalists, we can help share the vegan message to a lot more people. And you know, like a, a lot of them all already like really, really care about like the world and perhaps animals too. Um, some of them. So it's easier for them to connect, just like I did. So, like, because I also, also went from being an environmentalist to animal rights activist, and basically everything. And you basically do it by just telling them that you're here to help, that we're here to work on the same cause, and that's just like the simple gesture that we can do to them. Because we have like a lot of people working for animal rights issues and also environmental rights issues and it's time for us to like connect and to understand that we're all working for like the same big goal which is to make the world a better place but we all just come from different angles to solve that. Mm. I'll, I'll, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we can experience a bigger impact. Um, because yeah, um, if it's like us versus them kind of thing, then it can be like they can feel that uh, we are having like uh, maybe, maybe like a too strong of a focus on animal rights issues and they have their causes and we don't really like cooperate, but we, we are like super friendly. And when, when, when I say like cooperate, you, you, you don't need to spend like a lot of time actually cooperating with them. They just have to know where you are in their relationship and they gotta know where they are. It's, it's like with a big family or like a big team or a uh, friendhood. Like we, we can all do different stuff because we care about different stuff. It's not to get them to uh, go all the way into our movement and not us to go all the way into their movement, but to have a really good connection, maybe like uh, to screen cowspiracy together or something. That's like environment and animals, right? Or to have, have, have like a big potluck together where you eat vegan food or uh, environmental friendly food. Like, <laughs> it depends on what you say. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I, mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, so it's, it's, it's from being that kind of outsider thing uh, to a good friendship. Like we all play on the same team. Can, can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, all, almost, yeah. So it's how we can change the world together. It's like, uh, do you know uh, Joshua Entis? Mm -hmm. Yeah? 
Okay, so one of the things he also says is that uh, like when we play as a team, it's important that like when some of, of get tired, like they can rest and then some others step in. Mm. This is kind of the same thing, but just with the environmentalists too. And that uh, you can see like the whole game of like saving the, the world to be like the whole team. And then in front we might have like the environmentalist, let's say, and then on the side you have like human rights activists on one side and like the an animal rights uh, uh, animal rights activists on the other side, right? So we all go to like save the world, but we have to talk with each other, even though we don't have um, the specific same uh, reasons to be on that field. Oh. If you understand, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That doesn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. So the next super simple steps to do this, like this, this is not like something that um, you have to spend a lot on time on. It's just um, in your city, just make a list of like which organizations exist there. Um, that could be like within hum human rights, for example, or especially the environmental ones, and then all of the animal rights activists. And then just gather up, try to connect with the other one, and yeah, and just send them a message. And, 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 and this is really good to just put in your calendar. Yeah, so if you want to take a photo, you can take a photo of this, so you just like remember it, to like actually do it. Um, because we, we talk a lot, and the most important thing to do is to actually like execute on your ideas. Hmm, nice. <laughs> Yeah, and if this isn't enough already, like the presentation so far, if it hasn't got you to be like, okay, maybe I should contact them, this is a reminder of, of the things you all already know. So, like animal agriculture is the leading cause of climate change, which is like the big, big thing, but this means like species extinction, that's a lot of animals, you know, and ocean dead zone, oh, that's a lot of an an animals too. Uh, water pollution, a lot of animals. Uh, and habitat. No. <laughs> Good. Somebody took that. Habitat destruction. <laughs> That's a lot of animals. It's not just like habitat and then destruction. But yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And if you already didn't know, then watch out. This is the most crazy thing for today. That's a lot of animals. <laughs> And I have one more just for fun. <laughs> Animals on our property, and then, whew, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you're having a good time. Um, yeah, okay, so three actions to do. Um, we, we talked about like screenings or like potluck and stuff, uh, but the main things that we are doing now with like climate, 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 uh, climate day, uh, is picking trash, and then you can join like an assist, assisting uh, tr like cleanup campaign or something. Um, and then always have vegan food, like when you have food with you, or of course you will, but, but like try to get like all the people to be like, yeah, we got to be inclusive, so we got to bring vegan food. Um, and, and then we have different campaigns with Climate Save. Uh, one of them now is like for the Amazon rainforest with like Bolsonaro, uh, yeah, I, 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 will, I will talk about that soon. And the school strikes. That's a lot of young people. And who are some of the easiest people to reach with the vegan message? Mm. Young people, I know, right? So yeah, <laughs> so to then bring science that has a vegan message and you can reach a lot of people and you can do outreach. Like that's mm, on point. So yeah, so then you can make Earth Gre Greta again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know. So this is uh, this is me. Uh, this is a friend of me, and he has like yeah. If you're waiting, if you have been waiting for a sign, this is it. Go vegan, right? Aww. That's like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's my little sister. Uh, ideas are shit without execution. It's basically that's actually a Gary Vee phrase. I'm not sure if nobody knows him. Does anybody know Gary Vee? Just like. Nobody, okay, cool. <laughs> um, but, but that's basically the message of that. We talk and we talk and we talk, and we don't do stuff. We set goals, like our politicians set goals, but we never reach them, so like, yeah. Uh, and then fuck climate change, yeah, just like a basic one. Um, and then clean up Earth. This is me and two friends uh, by like uh, the ocean. This took us like 20 minutes, and this is like insane. Like this is so much. Um, so in Norway, in the organization that I also run, uh, we have one campaign called Pluk en Puse, pick a bag. What's that in Swedish? Pluk en Puse. Ooh. 
So it's like with an oil? Plocka and Pulsa. Yeah, nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so that would be like the Swedish one. Uh, so that's every last Sunday of the month. And that's like a thing we want to expand like internationally. So if you want to pick trash and you don't have a campaign, feel free to jump into that and then we can clean up Earth. Hashtag ad. Yeah, not sure. Um, Amazon rainforest campaign. Uh, so this is from like climate save. And what we did in <laughs> this is by the way really fun picture because I was so happy and he was like serious. <laughs> you know, when you have it, are we going to be serious or like not? So yeah, so he was serious. And we had like free hugs event also with like the vegan message. Um, but this oh that's Iban. Hey. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's a lot of ways to be creative with that. Um, so yeah, it's simple. You can do climate save campaign. Just follow what climate save does. Pick trash, school strike, hangouts, or other great ideas. And this is so chill. Like to also just have hangouts because that we have to do anyways, right? We have to build a good community. I guess you already have. Um, like hang, hang out. So if you create like a climate save, you can just put that into the co-host and then suddenly you kind of have an environmental animal rights uh, hangout. Right? Like it try to like make you like this is so simple. And this is uh, a quote from Anita which we had on Friday. Yeah. It's Friday. Okay, yeah. Um, but so it's we need to build coalitions and climate save movement can help build that, right? So this is the founder of the organization that we are here for now are saying that this might be one of the next steps that we can go. So I really, really hope that that's something that you will consider to do. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I hope all of those mm means like a hand in the... Uh, yeah, so how many of you now will cooperate with environmentalists or the environmental movement? Sam. And please be honest, like yeah. don't just take up your hand because you think I would cry if not. <laughs> okay, so uh, one, two, three... No, I'm so bad at counting, so please just... <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. That's actually everyone. Thank you so much. Okay. But, but now, please, like, you have to do it, okay? <laughs> like, you have to do it. Um, and uh, one way to do that is you could either, like, uh, just contact me uh, on Facebook, perhaps, actually, Martin Skadal, uh, or my mail or my Instagram. I, I think I would actually like don't contact me on Instagram, uh, then I would not see your message. I think, to be honest. Uh, but or it, it it can take some time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm awkward on camera. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? The coolest thing is this. Can can you see, like this? <laughs> it follows. But okay, um, how, 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 how much time do we have? It's... Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, so please just hit me up and I will help you um, like find your group or something or start a climate save or yeah, just like whatever. Um, yeah, and then we can also become better friends. Yeah, okay. Uh, any questions? Yes, go ahead. Um, yeah, how am I why is it that the environmental, uh, environmental activists do not care about animal agriculture? Um, mm. it, it's kind of a basic question. How, how yes. come did they not see conspiracy or how come did they mm. not research the facts from conspiracy? And how, is it, do you meet the same resistance as, as in the rest of the public or uh, is it another issue? Or it's, it's, actually, yeah, or it's, it's actually pretty similar. Okay. Um, wow. so, so it's all the different barriers we have like yeah. with like the, the, the mental, like the psychology in it. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people be like, yeah, yeah, it's important. But, and then like, da, 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 da. so we just gotta, gotta, gotta work on the same way. Mm -hmm. And to be like love-based, respectful mm -hmm. and yeah. 
uh, but sorry, um, mm -hmm. the, the, my point is that I understand why the rest of the world don't know it because they yeah. are not told. But these are people that are researching, and there are you know yes. big studies that they just can't avoid yeah. about. We have to reduce uh, ninety mm -hmm. percent of our animal uh, consumption to save mm -hmm. the world. We have to do that. Yeah, they, they must have seen that stuff. Yeah. but how can they avoid that? Uh, have you any? What, what do they say? What um, was their excuse? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Okay. So at them is like you know when we do like outreach and stuff, then uh, we have to find like their way into the vegan message. And of course, that then we have a strong environmental card like to use there. Um, but yeah, so some of them are are, are like that. It's um, they still don't think that it makes such a big impact if we as individuals do something. And that is bigger system change that is needed. Uh, also in Norway, especially, maybe in Sweden too, a lot of them are, like we have one organization called Nature and Youth. It's like the biggest youth environmental organization in Norway. Um, and when somebody said that the, all the food at their events should be vegan, then uh, they checked like how many like wanted that and that was like approximately one third and then two thirds were like strongly disagreeing because of the like uh, like landscape and stuff like to keep the culture and to have like um, animals to uh, yeah to be there to grace. to grace thank you that was the word yeah not only to be there to grace <laughs> yeah just stop there i'm done <laughs> yeah yeah, but that's uh, some of it. So I'm also like currently trying to like educate myself really on that. I'm not that educated on that yet, but that that's like their strongest one, um, which is really interesting. Also like uh, Wales, for example. So like the adult organization of that one, they are like for uh, whale hunting um, because that's like one big individual instead of the other ones and it's like local meat yeah it is local but it's like yeah so that's two of the things which is really interesting but many of them are open too though but but they have their own bubble of that it's okay to continue uh, so we need somebody to jump into that bubble and be like we need to talk about this mm. and that's us yeah yeah mm. yeah Yes. <laughs> that was fun. That was the most fun of this part. Mm. Any more questions? <clears throat> yes, go ahead. Yep. Uh, do you have an idea why? Because this, you're, what you're doing here is so, so the world is very possible, especially I make 15 all the time. Uh, so I, uh, um, I have started Animal Reality Exposed as a, awesome. as a thing in the group. And I was thinking, like, we use the word intersectionality, and I see a lot of people avoid using that word, almost like they're afraid of using that word. No, but World Save, uh, World Save Hustle. World yeah. Save Hustle is, almost, yeah. is actually <laughs> uh, intersecting the issue of yes. classism, colonialism, and uh, ableism. ableism. <coughs> Because animal rights is uh, is an ableist uh, issue mm -hmm. uh, combined with the colonialism that the West world used. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so yeah, I know that a lot of, a lot of uh, people compare uh, fights and struggle yeah. just for the sake of comparing. Mm -hmm. But what yes. you're doing, you're actually doing intersectional cooperation. But why won't okay. you use that word? Um, for me, I suck with words. Uh, so like. Four of the words you just said, I actually don't know what it means. <laughs> uh, so that's why, like, I don't use it, and that's that, that's like so uh, maybe like stupid reason. But I think that's why we don't use it in our organization because, like, I'm not using that word. But I guess we're doing exactly what you just said. Yeah. It, um, it's, so it's, I, I haven't really thought about that before. Yeah. yeah. Because this is actually the uh, the reason why uh, people fighting for. Uh, for example, uh, women rights fight for black women rights, mm. and not just their own rights. Mm. This is why those, those who fight for uh, the equal resources on the planet also fight for the for the future of the resources with en environmentalism and mm. veganism. Mm. Uh, that's why I think it's very very uh, effective when you want. 
wants to be politically active to mm. not use that word. Mm. Uh, of course, I have theories why, but I was just like asking, yeah. something out there, like, are you, do you think that this word can be used a little more in those operations? I guess so. Like um, uh, now, like, do do you think think that's like a really important thing? If so, then I will talk with my team, and we will like discuss it. So yeah. Yes. I've actually heard Anita talk about intersectionality, that we can work against all injustices. Yes. Yeah. So it's used within the same movement. Like you have the cool. health same movement, and they have like soup kitchens where we like give food to the homeless. That's intersectionality against social injustices. I don't think it's very important because it's uh, it, it is a huge resource of counter arguments. For example, oh, not everybody can be vegan, uh, or veganism is a privileged thing. And you can immediately say, no, veganism is a human rights thing as well, because uh, the animal agriculture is actually destroying the human, human equality. Uh, and that's why uh, I think it's uh, uh, the more we use that, that resource, the better we are at countering. For example, I, I think yeah, there is a, I don't know names, a politician in, uh, in the United States uh, who would like uh, who is vegan and trying to push more vegan in, in, in American politics uh, in Parliament. And of course, the right, the right wingers always say, yeah, all the all the arguments on the on the on the bingo chart, they use they use it, and she countered it with interesting uh, intersectionality, saying it that that uh, climate, climate issues are a human rights issue. Mm -hmm. That we cannot uh, just uh, say that, oh yeah, we have to be rich to be vegan, you know, know that we are not vegan to, uh, to use our money, but we are vegan to others. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah, like it's it's all connected, basically, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the easy way that I say it, yeah. Mm. And that that's why why I also yeah, I tend to say that like we're all working to like save uh, the world, but at like different angles. And even though it's different cause areas that we're working in, we we all work in like a lot of the same like we use the same methods for uh, yeah, bas basically. So then we can like learn from from each other a lot instead of every cause area have to like be like oh so this is how we do it, and then it spent a lot of time unnecessary on doing it. So it's yeah, it, it's it's. Uh, how to do like effective work, uh, effective altruism also, if people are into that, or you know what that is. Into that, that sounds like it's another thing. <laughs> You're into, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Any other questions? Or maybe teachings? Yeah. yeah uh, I just have an input on uh, why this is so important. Uh, yeah. Um, I was in another uh, conference listening to uh, the same subject and uh, one thing that I really took with me from there is uh, the biggest killer of um, animals in the world is of course animal ag agriculture uh, but the second biggest killer of animals is uh, what this is what you're talking about like climate change and stuff so is it really vegan to not care a hundred percent about that uh, so and the, the vegan flag association I don't know if you know about this but they're actually trying to change uh, the definition of veganism to include uh, yeah, more of the environment. Uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, some people think this, is, this makes it too complicated. And uh, yeah, but uh, I think it's pretty awesome. Nice, yeah. That's super cool. Thanks for the input. Hmm. Any other inputs or anything? Then I'll say thank you so much. That was really cool. Yeah. I just want to say that it's really awesome to like be with uh, like-minded people and I know a lot of you feel the same so that's like super awesome. Yeah.